Well, hi, everybody. My name is Becky Auer, and I am your host today, and I am super excited to have with me Grant Barlow. He is a legend in waterproof decking of all things. Um, he has literally installed over 108 Thousand, 108,000 square feet of decking membranes and is known in the industry as an innovator of methods and different products. And he's here today being a, this guest on my show and he's going to share so many fun tips and strategies and tactics if you are a homeowner and you have waterproofing issues or if you are a general contractor and you don't know how to fix stuff. So Grant, welcome to the show today. Thank you so much for being here. I'm honored to be your guest. Well, we have lots to get to, and I, I see you standing. Are you, where are you right now? Are you in your warehouse? I am in the U.S. headquarters for On Deck Vinyl Works in Wellsville, Ohio, right here on the Ohio River, not too far from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We have this warehouse with all these materials and supplies that we sell for deck waterproofing. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Well, good. I'm so glad you're here. Well, look, we have a lot of listeners out there. So if you can just tell us a little bit about On Deck Vinyl Works, your products and how you're helping your customers out there. Sure. On Deck Vinyl Works is a decking company, a decking membrane. We waterproof decks, rooftop decks, porches, balconies, the material is like this. It's a, a vinyl covering. It's sort of like a skin that we put over a rooftop deck. It's an approved roofing material for use over living space. And it's also an approved walking surface for outdoors. It's actually non-slip. It's very safe. It's non-slip. It comes in, we have about a dozen different patterns that's ever changing and it is ready for immediate use. It's a one-step process. Uh, yeah. it, it, it's, it's relatively new in the United States. It's been around the we Western Canada for a long time. And uh, the manufacturer that we use to make this stuff has been making it for 40 years. So it is a proven product. It's been proven in the tough weather of uh, Northwest Canada. <laughs> I don't want to be up there. I hate winter. Anybody who follows me knows I don't like snowflakes or cold or ice or anything like that. So that's very interesting though. You said it is um, slip resistant or like, what if it gets wet or icy or something like that? Does it, I mean, obviously that could be a problem for some people. The texture of this material makes it actually, it, it has a unique characteristic where it is actually more slip resistant when it's wet than when it's dry. Wow. Well, that would make it a good candidate for places too, like like swimming pools and things like that? Absolutely. Uh, pool decks are, are perfect for this material the, uh, because it's non-slip and it's barefoot friendly. It's barefoot friendly. You don't stub your toes on it. You don't get splinters from it. It's uh, a, a nice, easy to walk on surface. And outdoors in a bright sunlight, even in Southern climates, it doesn't get too hot to walk on. Oh, where that's other, really cool. other materials suck, suck up the sunlight and store the heat and they stay hot well into the evening after the sun goes down. This is, we call it barefoot friendly. Oh, I love that because even your pets have issues sometimes if, if it's really hot outside. So that's really actually great to know. Very good. Well, explain to the listeners, what are some of the benefits and advantages? I mean, you talked about them there a little bit, but for can you use this on a regular home and in commercial um, in commercial issues as well, where they have waterproofing problems? Absolutely. Typically, it's used on residential properties where, say, you have a first floor dining room, and it's got a flat rooftop on it, and above it on the second floor would be the master bedroom where you can have a, a sliding door, a patio door that walks out onto that rooftop over the dining room. You waterproof that deck with this material, put a nice glass railing or a powder coated aluminum railing around the perimeter, and you have turned that rooftop into a usable patio area. Usually we're 
on the second floor or above, uh, but it, we use it residentially and also commercially. I have installed uh, large projects where we take a rooftop on a commercial building and a restaurant will use it for patio dining. Uh, we have a, a chef that grows his own herbs on a rooftop that's covered with this material. Uh, and we do uh, balconies. We have uh, oceanfront balconies on high rise buildings uh, where if you don't want uh, things dripping through the deck above onto you, uh, where we have these balconies, we cover it with this material and uh, it's no longer a drip through deck and uh, it sheds the water away from anybody that's beneath it. Oh, wow. That is really cool. And are there different, um, do you have different patterns or is it just like a one size fits all? No, we have uh, uh, at least a dozen different colors and patterns all the time. It's, it's, a, it's always changing. We, the designers, we have great designers. They come up with new ideas, things that are trending, and they will uh, in, incorporate those new ideas into new patterns. And we're, we're, we're always changing it. We have some that are just solid. They're, uh, they're, they're the, the bread and butter of, the, of our product line. And some of them aren't so popular, so we let them go and we bring on something new. Uh, and and pe people's tastes change, so they sure. change. But we always have enough in, in colors that will match uh, the exterior of a building. Right, right, yeah, because it has to look it has to look pretty good if you're doing a big commercial space, I would assume. So, um, so yeah, so but there's not so many choices. You get overwhelmed. I always get overwhelmed when I have like more than you know six or seven choices to make. So, do you have any samples right there? Well, yeah, we have we have some that are wood grains. This one is a chevron oh, yeah. pattern, which for 40 years they told me that it couldn't be done. Uh, a, a genius <laughs> designer came up with a way to get it done. We have wood grains that are planks uh, like this. We have dark ones, we have light ones. And most things are in uh, gray, some kind of a gray or some kind of a brown or tan because all of the exterior finishes on the buildings will go with either a gray or a brown. But we have variations of all the different grays and the browns. And we do have uh, random patterns. We've got light colors, dark colors, uh, lots of things from which to choose. Oh my gosh. Well, it sounds amazing, the, the product. Um, tell me if you will, There, I'm sure there's a lot of people listening that have, you know, problems, right? Fixing, um, wanting, maybe, they, maybe they're a do-it-yourselfer and they want to fix their own waterproofing issues. Do, what, do you have any words of advice for them? Like, should, should they even try it or should they just hire a professional? Usually, these products are installed by people who have been trained how to install. Sometimes we'll get a do-it-yourselfer that's very handy, that understands the process, that can take our, we, we have an online uh, training course. They could take that online training course and learn how to do it themselves. They will, anybody who does install it does need special knowledge and special tools. Uh, the tools are available to, anybody can buy them, but uh, you need, if you're going to, your first deck uh, is going to be your most difficult. So sure. uh, it takes a lot of rehearsal before you uh, put on that first deck show. Uh, <laughs> if it's your own, that's, uh, that's okay. But usually it's installed by uh, trained professionals. It's going to be somebody with knee pads that is handy with their hands and understands waterproofing and sequencing like a roofer or a carpenter or uh, even a flooring installer will do it once we teach them the little uh, quirks about what it takes to make a floor covering waterproof. Right, right, I hear you. And I appreciate that because I am not one of those handy people. So I like people who are handy and can come and fix things. <laughs> so I'm sure there's a lot of common misconceptions that homeowners have about you know, fixing a home or even fixing a commercial building, right, with um, with waterproofing. Um, can you share a couple of what maybe those misconceptions are and, um, you know, just share that with the audience? Well, in my opinion, the biggest mistake that people make with waterproofing a deck is they, they, they try to reinvent 
the wheel. They think they have a better idea. And these are not only homeowners, but uh, trained professionals. There are home builders, there are contractors, general contractors who are very good at what they do. And they are, they're, they're unaware of uh, these products and they will make a real complicated situation out of a rooftop, rooftop deck. They will use some kind of a gooey black tarry material right. over, the, over that roof first. Then up on top of that, they will build a, a conventional deck, a drip through deck and expect it to drain through onto the roofing material and then the water to exit the roof uh, over the edge or into internal drains. But they've, when, when doing that, they've created a few real nightmares. Uh, mostly it is a maintenance problem you make that deck over top of the roof membrane. How do you ever get to the roof membrane if it ever needs repair? How do you clean under there? Little particles, leaves and uh, pine needles fall through the cracks in the deck, get blocked the drains. Eventually it, you're, you've got topsoil underneath that deck on top of the roofing membrane and you start growing little trees and plants and flowers and all those kind of things. We've all seen those in filthy gutters. Right. Uh, right. And that thing happens underneath that deck, uh, and it, it's it's just a mistake. And then the structure has to be uh, so strong; it has to be overbuilt so that it could take the weight of that roofing product, the weight of the snow load, and the weight of that traditional deck, that drip through deck made out of some kind of planks, the composite planks or wood planks. Uh, all that is on top of it, so uh, you're you're taking on a lot of weight. So when we use the vinyl deck membrane, the on-deck on vinyl works membrane, we do it in one step. Uh, it's lightweight and it's simple and we're waterproofing from the outside. So everything beneath it stays dry and it's not gonna rot out and grow mold. Well, and I know my neighbor just had to have like, you know, her basement dug up because of waterproofing issues. Just, I mean, this sounds like it kind of solves that problem. Well, we don't dig our basements. We <laughs> waterproof horizontal surfaces, not vertical surfaces. <laughs> I suppose you could dig up your basement and wrap this, wrap your basement with this material, heat weld those seams. It's virtually one piece, but it it just it, it wouldn't be practical to do that. But we do we have saved some buildings that had water intrusion from above and nobody knew where they were getting the water problems. They assumed that it was coming through the wall, but really it was coming through the, the rooftop deck overhead, leaking into the walls and then penetrating into the living environment, the conditioned space through the walls. And if there's, and they've even had trouble with growing mold and uh, oh. we can't have that. So we, what we do is we waterproof from the outside up on top the, this, the walking surface is the waterproofing membrane. It's, the, it's a, a flooring and a roofing all in one. I love that. And you and I talked a little bit before I wanted to interview you for the show. And you told me about, um, about Ondex Ultraseam and why it is so superior. Can you just share that a little bit and what that looks like and why that's a big deal? Sure, uh, we're, we're, we're gonna have to back up a little bit and talk about the material itself. We talked about the front side that's, that's got colors and uh, it's a few colors on there to make the patterns that we have. And it's got a texture to make it non-slip and it's got uh, mold inhibitors built into the, the PVC, the vinyl. It's got uh, 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 UV inhibitors. It's designed and tested to resist uh, degradation by ultraviolet light, which comes from the sun. But on the back side, we have something really interesting here. Our seams are made by overlapping two pieces, one over the other. It's a one inch overlap and we heat weld the, the materials together so that it's virtually one piece when we're done. We actually melt the vinyl from one sheet to the vinyl from to the next one and to keep it strong enough to live outdoors for a long time we overlap those two pieces exactly one inch we make the seams perfectly straight uh, in the old days we had this non-woven fabric backing that makes it uh, uh, work really well to uh, it, it's 
it's a mechanical adhesion for the glue. We stick this to the deck with a real aggressive contact cement and this right. woven fabric on the back uh, makes the cement, the, the adhesive stick to the vinyl itself. Vinyl, vinyl is kind of, uh, it's, it's difficult to get things to stick to it. So we have this fabric on the back that makes the glue stick to it. But there's a problem when we have this fabric on the back and we overlap one piece on the other and we weld the two pieces together, we have the contamination of this polyester that melts and it wow. would be seam so we don't get uh, the seam strength that we, we want or that is required. So what we've done is uh, the manufacturer has listened to what I had to say several years ago about the contamination of the non-woven fabric in the seam and they now make this material. You could see behind me uh, on these rolls, you could see that little top edge on those rolls. Those rolls are six feet here. They're tall, but uh, the width of a sheet is six feet. The roll is six feet wide. And these, the ones I'm standing in front of are 75 feet long. Wow. Uh, that one inch on the edge is clean. It's just pure vinyl. It's got no, uh, no fabric backing. So I when see. we weld it, we, we take hot air, with one of these tools. We put the yeah. hot air between the two sheets in the overlap. And then we take this other tool and we, we squeeze them together. We add pressure from this silicone roller and we fuse the two pieces together so that that deck surface is virtually one piece. That's why it doesn't leak. And that's why we can give a great guarantee. I see. And that's why they say to call Grant when it absolutely can't leak because you have the hookup over there. I love it. That's right. And we're the, the, only, uh, the only place you can get this, what we call the ultra seam, the ultra edge. Uh, On Deck Vinyl Works is the only place in the United States where you can buy this. Uh, it is, uh, it, it's only on our product. And that's what makes our seam strength uh, fantastic. The, the, when we weld this together with that ultra seam, it is stronger on the seam than it is in the sheet. It, wow. If you go to pull it apart after you weld it together, it's going to tear anywhere but the seam first. Wow. Wow. Because I guess because it doesn't have that fuzzy stuff on the back, right? Correct. On that area. Correct. Well, so that, you know, that's technical jargon right there. Fuzzy stuff. We call it non-woven fabric. It's actually, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's 100% polyester. <laughs> well, I'm sure all the general contractors and roofers and architects know exactly what that means. I call it fuzzy stuff, and I know my listeners know what fuzzy stuff means. <laughs> But thank you for explaining that. Now, look, I had pulled up some um, some pictures and I just wanted to share them um, with the audience because this is kind of like you doing doing your work, right? That's you out there actually putting one of the ultra seams together. It is. That's actually real life right there. That that was several years ago and uh, it was on a Christmas Eve. No kidding. Oh, no. Yeah, that was a... a a job that we did for a customer in, uh, it was actually in Michigan uh, and it was really cold that day. And uh, we had, we promised we'd have them done by Christmas. So we're there on Christmas Eve, getting it done. It was new construction. Uh, wow. A, new house, a, couple of, a, a couple of different uh, rooftop decks that he has. Wow, that's great. Well, and that, I love that story. I didn't even know you were gonna tell that, 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 that it was Christmas Eve because you told him you'd get it done and you got it done. So I love that. And these are the tools that you just showed us, right? Exactly. The very same. Yep. Very, very cool. Very cool. And this, I pulled up, um, it, this looks massive, um, like, like a massive on top of a commercial building, right? It is. That's a, a, a building that's more than 100 years old that recently got renovated to become a party center. And uh, where that's me standing on that deck. And I got on that deck and had uh, that photo taken by my daughter who's standing up on another roof she, looking down at me. We have other photos of that, that deck, but 
it, we, you couldn't tell the scale of it. So I got down there and I put my arms up in the air and to, to, to demonstrate the scale of that job. That deck is actually one plane, one single plane that slopes away from the building. The water drips over the edge into a gutter, but it's 6,000 square feet. Those, wow. uh, each of those sheets is uh, 65 feet long. And uh, wow. it's, it's, it's one of my larger projects, but it just shows that we could do very large areas. And uh, uh, of course we do real small areas as well, but uh, this, this is, uh, I'm really proud of this job because there's a very expensive uh, dining room underneath there in uh, a banquet facility. And this picture was taken as soon as we got done installing the waterproof decking. It is, uh, uh, as soon as we got done, we took this photo of that very same day, but now there's a nice, beautiful railing and, and the view, uh, if you look over the horizon, you'll see that's Lake Erie there. This is actually on a waterfront. It's at the mouth of the Black River in Lorain, Ohio, uh, near Lake Erie. And uh, they 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 built this this rooftop deck so they could have entertainment out there on, outdoors in the summertime. Oh, that's so cool! I think yeah. Here's the other the flip side of it that I found. So um, so yeah, it looks like it was a massive project. How long did it take you to do that? Uh, we were there for several days. There were carpenters that worked before us to get it prepared. They they did a great job making it. Uh, one single plane, uh, there's no dips in it. It's when uh, it's, it's got the proper slope, it sheds the water away from the building. It's actually a 2% slope and they, they used lasers and dry lines, all kinds of uh, tricks from the, the trade. Uh, there were excellent carpenters. When, after it rains, there's no ponding, no, no puddles on that deck. They all drain over the edge into a, into a gutter. No, oh, that's great. Oh my gosh. No, it's very, very cool. And then I just pulled up these two photos. This one is a, um, this was a swimming pool area or what is this? It is. Uh, you could see that uh, the inside of that swimming pool, it's a very small uh, swimming pool that has a current in it and it's made for physical therapy. This is at a hospital where they perform uh, in water physical therapy. And the interior of the pool, it, the, the pool is made out of steel panels and it's got uh, a, a PVC, a, a vinyl liner in that pool that's a similar material to what our decking is. It's a 60 mil PVC vinyl pool liner. And we were actually able to heat weld our PVC decking membrane that's uh, on deck vinyl, heat welded right to the vinyl liner so that uh, the, wow. the above is waterproof, the interior of the pool is waterproof, and the vertical surface on the outside is waterproof. And then uh, uh, beyond that, uh, you see those two inch porcelain tiles that uh, uh, there's drainage. Uh, a, yeah, there's from there. Trench drain off of that. But this is, uh, yeah. this is a, a real good application because uh, it is truly waterproof, non-slip. When people walk on that, they're not gonna fall down and uh, it, it's gonna last a very long time, especially because it's indoors. Right, right, exactly. No, it was, the, I, I love showing these and this is, this is your, um, this is where you're standing in front of now, right? Some of the roles in your warehouse and so on. Exactly. That's uh, you see them scattered on the floor there. That's how they get delivered to us. They come on a truck from Winchester, Virginia. It's a four or five hour truck ride over to here. We take them off the truck on those pallets in those little pyramids. Uh, and then we stand them up on end uh, so that they don't get uh, any marks in them. And, and it makes it easy for us to move it around in the warehouse. Yeah, very cool, very cool. So I just wanted to show that to our audience because um, I thought they were great examples of, you know, of everything that you're doing over there. Tell us this, um, what inspired you to become a general contractor many, many years ago? Well, I've always been handy. I'm, uh, I like to say that I'm a, a natural born engineer. So I've been, uh, I, I started out as a carpenter uh, I have natural ability, God-given talent that God gave me. Uh, I became a, a master carpenter. 
when I was younger. And from there, I became a general contractor because I understood what was going on in the whole construction. And I worked as a superintendent. I worked as uh, a, 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 a carpenter. I had a, a large crew of men that uh, we did, we built all kinds of buildings from small additions on houses to large, uh, large buildings uh, up to 200,000 square feet over my oh, career. Wow. And one of those jobs was uh, had a little walkout uh, rooftop deck over a retail shop. And that was in, uh, uh, it was, it, it, it still exists. It's in Ohio. It's in uh Richfield, Ohio. And I was the carpenter contractor on that project. And the architect had specced this vinyl decking material on that little rooftop. And I told see. all these wonderful things about it. And I said, well, and this was a long, long time ago before anybody knew anything about it. And I said, if, if, if there's a product out there that does all these things you say it can do, I'm going to get more involved in it. And uh, that was the beginning of my career with the waterproof decking membranes. Uh, I, got, I got trained by uh, a couple of fellas in Canada. I got trained how to install. And then over the last 30 years, I have been uh, taking what they taught me and adding lots to, of my own ideas to it. And uh, it is now what we have developed over the last 30 years. Yeah, that's so great. That's so great. So On Deck Vinyl Works is kind of the culmination of a lot of years of you out there doing it and they having some product and now everything's come together with the warehouse and the ultra seam and things like that. So it's really quite, you know, an entrepreneur's journey, if you will, on how that all has come together and how you really can serve homeowners and um, general contractors and roofers and, you know, people that have these types of problems, you have the perfect product now to be able to, you know, service that industry. So just share a quick lesson with us that you learned early on that maybe still impacts how you do business today, if you will. Well, a long time ago, I learned that the, 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 the fundamental key to being a good contractor or a good businessman is to, it's really very simple. It, and I, I call it, do what, you're, what you say you are going to do. If you tell somebody you're gonna be there at noon, be there at noon or be there at 10 to noon or 11.45 because if you're not early, you're late. And nobody wants to be standing around tapping their toes waiting for you to show up. And if you tell them you're gonna be done at a certain time, you'd be done at that certain time. If you tell them you're gonna make it so it doesn't leak for 30 years, make it so it doesn't leak for 30 years. Put all the care that it takes to live up to uh, your word. <laughs> well, I love that. And look, you have pretty much proved that when you said I was going to be done by Christmas Day and you were out there on you know Christmas Eve finishing up. So I, I so appreciate that. Also, because just a few days ago, we had an incident down here. I'm in Florida. I live in Pittsburgh. But we had an incident with the house and the guy said he was going to be back. And of course, he never came back. And it just gives you know general contractors a bad name in general when you don't do what you say you're going to do. It's just not that hard. And I know our listeners love it when people actually do what they say they're going to do. So I appreciate that lesson. And I appreciate that about you because you came up and fixed some stuff in my house that needed done and, you know, did everything that you said you were going to do. So I appreciate that very much. I wanted to share with our audience um, one last thing about, um, you know, stuff that you have going on. And People, if they want to find out more about you and this amazing product from On Deck Vinyl Works, you actually just created a whole free series that's on YouTube now about everything from what is vinyl decking membrane down to, you know, basic questions. I think your series is around 19 or 20 videos right now. Is that right? Yes. Uh, I answer yeah. questions that contractors might ask or homeowners, architects. They're all available at ondeckvinylworks.com. Yep, so people can come and check you out there. I know that we have a whole, um, or that you have a whole YouTube channel right now for On Deck Vinyl Works, where all of these are too. So if they're not uploaded to the website just yet, you can go find them on 
YouTube. And then tell us a little bit, because I thought this was pretty amazing. You, um, you said when people are handy, they can like learn how to do this. Or since we are kind of in the midst of COVID right now, um, you know, you had people used to come to Wellsville, Ohio and learn how to do this from you. And since that can't be right now, because everybody has to keep their distance, you actually have created waterproofdeckacademy.com where people can come and get more information about how to install this amazing product from On Deck Vinyl Works. So tell us just a little bit about that, how you created this and, you know, what they can find when they're inside. The, uh, the website is called waterproofdeckacademy.com. It's easy to use. It, we developed it to teach people how to do installations for many years, for nearly 30 years. I have been teaching others how to install. And when I teach live face-to-face, -face, each class, each, each, each time I, uh, Every time I go through a class, it usually takes two days to teach everybody everything. Uh, I might, each one is a little bit different. There's variations because I think of different things as I go through. So what I did was I started uh, recording all the things that I teach live face to face. And then I wrote scripts and I made videos so that it's very thorough. I don't miss anything. Everything you need to know about installations is in this real thorough subscription-based website. It's the only one of its kind. It's not like uh, YouTube videos you see how to, uh, where it is not all truthful. A lot of those YouTube videos I watch and I, and I get a kick, a kick out of it because I, I laugh about the different things that these people show on videos on YouTube. And I like to say, you, you, you get what you pay for because <laughs> so, so what it's worth is about free. Uh, the this this what this uh, waterproofdeckacademy.com will teach. Uh, it was really made for uh, to to people that I've already taught face to face, so that they have access to because uh, they go home to their their home state and do jobs, and they might not remember sure. how taught them how to do a specific detail. And they could go back and watch the video on how to do it. Or sometimes there, there's no, there's not a, uh, an installer in a remote area and somebody that's really handy uh, that wants to do their own installation can buy the tools and learn from this website and uh, uh, do their own installation. I love that. I love that. And I love that you have it available to people. So if there is, I know On Deck Vinyl Works right now, you and I had uh, talked a little bit before are looking for people to apply to be, you know, distributors of your product because it's so amazing. So general contractors or architects, roofers, those people that are in that line of work that want a superior product, um, you guys are taking applications right now and they can just go to On Deck Vinyl Works. Why don't we give the listeners and viewers, since we're wrapping up, a way to find out more about you, Grant Barlow, and about On Deck Vinyl Works. So can you share a couple of different ways they can get a hold of you if they're interested? Sure. Uh, I said before that the website is called ondeckvinylworks.com. It's it's spelled a little bit unusual. Uh, it you is. You see that on your T-shirt, but it's a perfect lead into that's where they need to go. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's ondeckvinylworks.com, and perfect. that's where uh, you can see the products. You can hear these these stories. You can find links to lots of great information, and I'll 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 one up you on that, and I will give you my cell phone number. Uh, I have nothing to hide. Uh, I answer the phone. Uh, if I don't, I'll call you back. Uh, but my cell phone number is 216-389-2212. And it's published on all the printed info. And it's, it's, it's my iPhone. And I do get calls all the time. And uh, I answer them. I help customer, I, customers. I answer questions. And I actually take orders. That's great. That's great. And if they want to send an email, what is the best email for you to reach out? I have an email that is grant at ondeckvinylworks.com. Very simple. 
Very simple. Okay. Yeah, as long as they can get through the spelling and we'll put a link to that underneath this interview. But I just want to say thank you so much for sharing all of this knowledge. I'm sure that people out there that have a waterproofing issue, whether it's in a home, on a deck, on a porch, or big commercial places that you, you know, that we saw a picture of. Um, we'll be reaching out to you to help them solve that. So thank you for all you do. And thank you for being you and being on the show today. Uh, if, um, if anybody wants to reach out to Grant, just go to ondeckvinylworks.com, spelled like it is on his t-shirt. Um, and then I'll post the links to the show or the links to his email and his phone number, uh, which is his direct cell phone number. So you can reach out to him as well. Thank you, everybody. And thank you, Grant. And we will see you next time in the spotlight. That's it for today.